The long battle between Uber, Lyft, and Hillsborough County could be coming to an end. A new deal is on the table that would allow the ride-sharing services to operate legally in the county, but there is a catch. The Hillsborough County Public Transportation Commission is demanding fingerprint background checks for Uber and Lyft drivers, but this new agreement, well, it would put into place other extensive background check elements instead. Jeff Patterson joining us now live, and uh, Jeff, I guess it sounds uh, like a good plan. They've worked really hard on it, but what is this catch we're talking about here? Yeah, good evening, Keith. Well, the chairman of the Hillsborough County PTC worked late into the night here at the county center last night to hammer out this agreement between Uber and Lyft. But the catch is the agreement means little unless it's passed by the full PTC board. Download the app, request a driver, and a car is on the way. No tip required. Payment is on your credit card through the app. Uber driver Odell Allen told me today customers love the service. The residents here, they embrace us. They love us. And a lot of them are speaking out. They'd hate to see us go. But Uber drivers currently are working illegally in Hillsborough County and face heavy fines if they're caught. Hillsborough County PTC Chairman Victor Christ wants to change that. And Chris worked late Wednesday to hammer out an agreement with Uber and Lyft. It could bring an end to the controversy that has plagued the PTC. The agreement would require extensive background checks, but no fingerprints. Also, vehicle inspections and insurance for drivers. Similar deals have faced problems because taxi cab companies have opposed them. The existing companies that are currently regulated have to approve of any changes that we want to make or they can slow the process down and cause it to fail so that nothing gets done. Currently, three PTC members appear to be in favor of the deal. Three are opposed and one member, Hillsborough County Commissioner Ken Hagan, is the swing vote. But Hagan declined our request for an interview today. Yeah, so we will wait to hear from Ken Hagan on that. Also today, Chairman Victor Chris announced that he will be stepping down from the Public Transportation Commission voluntarily in November. Keith? Well, he's worked very hard there, but I mean, we've got this deal and cab companies have to respond to it and there's more to go. What, what are you hearing about the reality of this actually going through, the possibility of it happening? Well, Yellow Cab sent out a statement today saying they're in favor of leveling the playing field, but they still oppose uh, anything that would not require a fingerprint background check. They think a fingerprint background check is essential uh, for any agreement. Uber has already indicated that they will completely pull out of doing business in Hillsborough County if that part of the proposal goes forward, Keith. Boy, standing firm on all sides, trying to work a compromise here. Thank you, Jeff.